All right, here we are, everyone. Let's go, Habsols and Polion playing against each other for the first time. I'm pretty sure. I don't think we ever played in the GBA D League or the GBA. So here it is. All right, so looking at Goldo's team, the Vikavolt and the Indeedy are both here. Interesting. I do see the Wake as well. Halucha, no Heatran. No Rillaboom is rough. Ooh, that's bad. Grassy Seed Spec. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever will I do? No Pheasantipity. And no Rillaboom, so this should be the six. Yeah, and let's change that on the layout as well. So Boulder, Lucha, Rilla is not here. This is instead Vikavolt. Luna is here, Torkoal is not. This is instead Indeedy. Dee Okay, so that's the six. Uh, I think I'm still going to lead with uh, Cinderace. Realistically, I think it's the best lead. Uh, probably, yeah. All right, let's just do that. Uh, so I am Grassy Seed, unfortunately, on the Spectre. I really thought Rillaboom would come. I thought his revenging options into uh, my Spectre were kind of weak without it. So I guess we'll see. And also, the Indeedee can be a problem because it's going to eat into my Primarina. I'm going to have to see if I can use Spectre to beat it instead. That's probably going to be the play. All right, let's see. What does Mr. Goldoa lead with? Expecting a... Not an Ursaluna lead. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, so this is just a very safe U-turn for me. I'm just gonna bring up Cinderace and Ursaluna and see how much this uh, does. Ursaluna... It's a bulk up, so give it max HP. We'll just see if it's max HP from the U-turn damage. Uh, Scorching Sands is not as good here. The Heatran and the Torkoal are both not here. Uh, I don't see what other application could possibly have. But uh, yeah, let's just go for U-turn. Here's Protect. That's fine. Is it Flame Orb? We are going to turn into a Bug type. So I guess it's Flame Orb? It has to be, right? It is Flame Orb, okay. Alright, well, it's going to be taking a lot of chip throughout the game. So, let's just U-turn. Uh, I can't safely go into my Thunderous, which is the play I would have made if this thing was Assault Vested. Um, now, I, don't, I think you click Normal Move here, I want to say. I think Facade is free. Um, I don't think you ever Crunch. But I could just play it safe and go Salamence. I just want to see if Salamence takes a uh, Guts Burned... Burned Facade. After Intimidate. Uh, with Intimidate applied, I do take it. I take 71 to 84, but that's from 16 Adamant. From Max Adamant, I take 91 Max. Uh, but we are going to go into Salamence and then maybe pivot into Uxie after. We'll see. So here's unlock our Salamence. We are going to get off the Intimidate. We got off on a nice amount of damage with the U-turn. Here's Crunch. That's a crit. That's unfortunate. Uh, Rocky Helmet plus the burn is very nice. Uh, and now... I might go into... Spectre trying to catch a Facade. Knowing that this thing is like... Max, because that crunch crit should be, hold on, crunch on a crit to Salamence, yeah, that's max attack adamant, so this thing has, like, probably no special defense, so I could make the Spectre play, which is probably what I want to do, and I want to conserve my Salamence, alternatively, I could go into uh, Yuxi, but I think he fires off a facade here, if I'm being real, um, but I guess going Uxie is not the worst because then my rocks go up. Like, is Salamence really that useful? There's no Rillaboom. There's just the Halucha. And get off an Intimidate on that. That's about it. I'm going to go Uxie. I think Uxie's safer. Yes, he can go for Crunch again, but if he doesn't crit me, then I'm fine. And I can get up my rocks. So here's Uxie. There's another Crunch. That's not a crit. Beautiful. We are going to get our leftovers here. And uh, I think we're just going to prioritize getting up rocks here. 
surprised that he went for crunch again when I could have roosted. Uh, I will get up rocks though. Uh, and foul play would do a lot to this actually. Let me see, you can see foul play 24 to 29. That's to a max HP variant. We don't know if it's max HP, obviously, but... Yeah, we are going to get up our rocks. Uh, he doesn't have magic mounts, right? I didn't just mess that up. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. Uh, here is Ileana, the Vikavolt. Okay. So here's the stealth rocks. Obviously, if I core change now, the rocks are on my side. Um, and he could prioritize webs here. Could definitely see that. Um... Now, I could just make the U-turn play into my uh, Spectre. Which is what I think I'm going to do. So here's the U-turn. That does 9%. What what does that tell me about the Vikavolt? Let's see. Vikavolt. Uh, it has a lot of bulk. That's what it tells me. Okay. So being that it has a lot of bulk, uh, I will be going into... I could go Salamence, actually, as well. Um, but I think I want to break early with Spectre as early as possible. So let's go into Undead. The horse. There's a Volt Switch. Okay. Is that another crit? No, that's just Specs. That is literally Specs. Okay. So it's max HP with Specs. There's no way that would have done that much otherwise. Yeah, it's max modest... Choice spec? Does choice specs even do that much? What the hell's going on here? I'm in the red. Yeah, it does do that much. He's max modest specs. Okay. So, we probably don't have to worry about webs, is what that means, I think. Uh, the Luna is quite low, and I want to see how much it takes. If it's just max HP. Ursa Luna, Psychic. From to max HP. Hold on. Uh, 26 to 31, so we could do that. We could sack off the horse in exchange for the Luna. Here's Molder. Who's Molder? That's Boulder. All right. And it gets Booster. Okay. I don't think you want to click anything but an attack here, if I'm being real. So I'm going to make the play into Yuxi. And then we can foul play after, if he SDs. Uh, and if he doesn't SD, then Prim should be fine to revenge this, I think. I still like Horse here. Uh, and being that the Vikavolt is Specs, it's going to take Rocks. So yeah, I am just going to go Yuxi. Going to conserve this. There's the booster and Speed. I should have checked if it actually hit Speed. I didn't see fully. <laughs> if it was Attack, then I should have just attacked here, but... I didn't, uh, I didn't catch that. It's gonna be bad if it's not. Uh, okay, so the Luna's sitting at about 50. We should adjust this. Right, it's about here. Um, there's Throat Chop. Okay, that's a crit. Cool. Please stop critting me. I'd very much appreciate that. Vikavolt is at 91. Boulder is at 87.5. And the others haven't come in yet. Okay. So we're just going to click foul play here. If he has Ds, then we kill. Uh, here's another throw chop. It's not a crit. Good. And we are going to get off the foul play here. Good damage. Not enough to kill. But I can sack Salamence here for Rocky Helmet. The question is, is Yuxi worth keeping at 51% or 51 HP? Or is the Intimidate more worth keeping? Uh, good question. I wish I had some other form of priority right about now. But I don't. So, I think we have to double down here and I have to bring back in my Spectrier. I think that's my only play. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, we're going to sack the Salamence. Hopefully it has only contact moves plus Earthquake. That'd be great. Here's the Salamence. We're going to get off the Intimidate. And Rocky Helmet should finish this off. There's the Mighty Cleave. Beautiful. And that's Rocky Helmet. And that is a double down. So, down goes the Iron Boulder. It cost me a lot, unfortunately, because I keep getting crit. But, uh, so be it. I think Yuxi would have been out of range of Throat Shop if it didn't get crit. 
Now, with that said, um, I think Cinderace is relatively safe, I want to say. Uh, Halucha, the terrain's not up, so it's not like Halucha can do anything. Spectre is also not bad, but I think the play is to go into Cinderace. Uh, yeah, Cinderace is good. Yeah, Halucha is going to be a problem now, isn't it? I can never let it set up. I have to attack it when it's in. We could see Indeedee here, for sure. Uh, Vikavolt's not that bad here. Skimir. That is going to be the Ursa Luna. Now, I can't actually KO this, I don't think. I could, I could. Let's see. Hold on. Cinderace's Pyro Ball, hmm, 35 to 42 to Luna, if it's max HP. How much is he at? F 42, exact, 41. So, yeah, that's uh, that's rough if he's max HP. If he's not max HP, I do KO. Uh, at worst, he goes down to Flame Orb uh, to burn. I think... Cinderace is still pretty good. Let me just look at the rest of my team. I mean, Spectre is really good too. And I have Thunderous for Thunder Wave. So yeah, I think I am going to Pyro Ball, actually. I'm going to miss. That's great. Yeah, this battle could not be going better. Wow. Okay. So that's terrible. Um... I would like something to go my way, please. How much did we say spec does? 26 to 31, it's not enough. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, I have to go Thunderous and I have to Grass Knot. That's going to allow the Vikavolt to come in and then it's just, it's just terrible. It's just awful, man. Yeah, I'm just going to Grass Knot. Screw it. This is so bad. He's at 35 on Luna. Now he's dead. Goodbye. <sighs> I mean, it's just a, it's a joke of a game right now. It's not really an anything game. Now, Primarina can actually still win. Funny enough, it can. Um, the Indeedee just has to, like, not be Psy Shock. The Vikavolt has to not crit me for the unteenth time. Uh, the Halucha has to die in one and while it's clicking Swords Dance and not be Encore me into Call Mine kind of thing. Like, there's, there's, like, too much that has to go my way here. Walking Wake could still be Scarfed as well. You can easily go for a flip turn, too. Uh, Ileana is the Vikavolt, so that's going to take 25% when it comes in, meaning it's sitting at 61. Uh, why is it at 61? Hmm, might be Miss EV, I don't know. Uh, looks, yeah, 61 or 62 here. Um, I could go for knockoff. I don't know if I necessarily want him switching up moves. Uh, if U-turn gets this thing into range of Spectre, then that's what I do. Uh, Vikavolt. It kind of does, actually. Uh, if he's max HP, I just want to see this. Shadow Ball does 49. Yeah. I think U turn. Uh, I don't have U turn. <laughs> Funny. Um, Alright, so I think we. I think we knock. So let's knock off. And I need to keep this thing, so I need to sack Yuxi. There go the choice specs. Here's the Volt Switch. So I'm not going to die to that, obviously. Cannot bring in Lucha yet. Um, and we have this thing at about like 40 pre-rocks. So that's nice. For what it's worth. Um, I could still win this game. Funny enough. I could definitely still win this game. It's really going to depend on uh, like if he has a Scarfer. One. Uh, two. What the Indeedee is. And three, if I'm able to play around the Vika Volt from where it's at right now. So that's that's going to be the the big factors here. 
Walking Wick could also be Specs, but like best move it could lock into is like Hurricane, I think. Into my Primarina. That's about it. So here comes Ike. Who's this? That is going to be the Walking Wake, and it takes 12.5. Uh, all right, let's bring this down. Cool. 87.5. And, I mean, if he's scarfed, he's scarfed, but honestly, I think I just go hard prim. Yeah, I think I just go hard prim here. I can serve the, um, the Thunderous for a Thunder Wave on the Halucha. I have to. Dragon Dance, huh? This thing can't kill me with anything. It's just gonna drop. Right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we just Moonblast. Double Edge is not going to take me out. The recoil is going to cause the... Um, and it's Life Orb. Is going to cause the... Uh, the Walking Wake to go down. So that's another Mon down. And the Vika Volt is sitting at 40. Yeah, I can definitely still win this. It depends on the Indeedee. That's all it is. It just depends on the Indeedee. It's Terra Fairy, probably. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. There's the Indeedee. Now, let me just see what HP I'm at. Uh, Primarina. 93. What is that? Is that Torrent? That's Torrent. Okay. Now, if this thing is Scarfed, I think it just wins. And there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. Um, I could protect, but that gives him, like, a free Calm Mind. But if he's Calm Mind, it's not that bad, right? Um, if he's Calm Mind, I can still deal with... No, because I'm only Knock Off, I'm not U-Turn. Oh, that still might be enough. Alright, let's just Surf. Bug it. There's the Expanding Force. That's gonna knock me out. And now, I have to go into Yuxi, I think. Yuxi and what? U-turn? U-turn loses me the game. Yuxi and foul play, I guess, right? Yeah, it's Yuxi and foul play. I'm not faster than this, like, at all. Uh, expanding Force probably takes me out. I would assume. And if he's Scarfed, it's just, like, literally game over. There's nothing I can do. So, let's try it. And this is my only play, right? I'm assuming the Unity Scarfed, but like, with all the crits I took, with all the damage that I took, like, there's there's nothing I can do. Um, yeah, let's go to a uh, horse. I should definitely go horse first, I think. Just go for a Dark Pulse. Let's see if it's Scarfed. If it's not Scarf, we have a chance. We do have a chance. There's the Dark Pulse. What is this? Is this Salic? Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I even got him into Salic with that Dark Pulse. Wow, okay, well, guess I should have knocked first, huh? Yeah, I think I won if I knocked first. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Salic, okay. Was, wasn't Scarf just better here? I, I don't understand. Alright. Because how many turns of terrain does he have left? Okay, he had two, so he probably still won. Um, yeah, I mean... I can't do anything. The, the Psychic terrain's up. I can't even T-wave this. For a chance, so I just T-Bolt. I die to Expanding Force, obviously. It's base 160. Yeah, whatever. GG. Nice game, Goldoa. Um, unfortunate that it had to be that haxy, but uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes, so. GG's, man. Catch you on the flip side, guys. Peace.